All right, well, new tonight, we are also learning new details about the man who abducted, raped, and killed eight-year-old April Tinsley in Allen County. This is back in 1988. Yeah, the lead detectives in the case weren't allowed to comment until now. As Alyssa Ivanson reports, the detectives say a lead that began with new DNA technology ended up pointing them to the suspect. Asked him to come with us down to the Fort Wayne Police Department, and he was more than willing to come with us. John D. Miller. The man who killed April Tinsley in 1988, now in a police car, headed to the station with detectives. What was he like? What was his mannerisms, what demeanor? He was very talkative with us. We discussed hobbies, uh, where he told us he liked to do word searches and crossword puzzles. Miller casually chatted with the detectives in the car, saying how much he loved police shows, never missing an episode of Live PD. Do you think he was enjoying it, having fun, being part of what, he, in his mind, a police show? Absolutely. I think the fact that we engaged in him in a conversation about that, it actually maybe calmed him down a little bit, um, made him trust us a little bit. He actually probably enjoyed the car ride down. In the interview room in the station, Miller's openness continued. We, in fact, asked him, John, do you have any idea why we have you here? Do you, do you know why we asked you to come down here? And he looked at us and said, April Tinsley. I tried just to uh, maintain a very calm, casual look at him. I didn't want to like jump out of my chair. We brought up nothing about April Tensley's case. I couldn't believe that he said her name. At that point, I, I knew that we were going to find out what happened to April. Miller proceeded to lay out the details of April's abduction, sexual assault, and murder. Why was he down in April's neighborhood back in 1988? He was trolling around looking for a target of opportunity to abduct. And um, he indicated to us that he had seen April walking down the street. He pulled up a block and he was waiting outside his vehicle for her to walk by. He stated that he um, approached her, told her to get in the car, she did. And that he then took her back to his trailer in Grable. Um, and in fact, it's the same trailer that he was living in that he took her to back in 1988. And he molested her there? Yes. Did he kill her there? Yes. He said that he waited until after dark and he took and, uh, and dumped April's body along County Road 68. In DeKalb County, where the eight-year-old was found three days later. April's mom, when um, I talked to her, she said her main and only question is, why? Why April? Did he answer that? In an indirect way, John did answer that. And I think he was looking for a child who was more suitable for what he wanted. And, and he saw her as a target of opportunity, and he jumped on that. But he had not seen her before that day? No. He was trolling for someone to abduct. He, it was premeditated. Right. It could have been anybody any little kid in that area that day. And that probably was not the first time that he had gone looking. And Miller told detectives it was not his last. After his arrest last July, all of us wondered if he would become a suspect in any other cases. How do you know that he did not commit any other crime? First and foremost, we had a DNA sample early on and it was entered into the database and there were never any other hits to that DNA sample. He was very um, open. He was very, uh, I believe, honest with us once we began talking to him. He admitted that he, uh, he did drive around this. He said he, there were a lot of times he drove around neighborhoods, shopping centers, and just looked and never saw a target of opportunity that he felt that he could abduct. It was just very disturbing to even hear him say that, that he had even thought about grabbing another child after April. And, and all the years between when he took April until he was arrested, there was a, I would think there would be a lot of time that he could have potentially grabbed another child and thankfully did not. But he did threaten to. Notes left on little girl's bicycles and scribbled on a barn door saying he killed April and he'd kill again. Messages Miller admitted to leaving. He wanted to see more media coverage of the crime. He wanted that to be out there. He enjoyed that aspect of it. He wanted the attention. Ultimately, it's what helped helped us identify him. 
it, are you surprised that in 30 years he didn't tell somebody? After knowing what we know about him now, I'm, I'm not surprised. He was uh, a very private person. Working the overnight shift, stocking shelves in the toy section, staying under the radar. Miller was 28 in 1988 when he raped and killed April. In his driver's license photos that police gave to 15 Finds Out, you can see him age. By his arrest at age 59, he seemed feeble, but Hetrick says Miller was deemed fit to stand trial. He understands what he did. He is socially awkward. He's not well educated, but um, he's, he's just like anybody else that he knows. He knows what he's doing. He knows the right from wrong. That was uh, Alyssa Ivanson reporting. The case never did reach a trial. In a deal, Miller pleaded guilty to child molesting and murder and was sentenced to 80 years in prison.